Hi, I'm Katie and welcome to The Wick, where this week our culturally curious hop brings us to the National Portrait Gallery here in London, where we're checking out their brand new show, The Time Is Always Now, Artists Reframe the Black Figure, a show curated by Echo Ishan. Let's take a look inside. The Time Is Always Now, Artists Reframe the Black Figure is a showcase of work by 22 leading African diasporic artists working in the UK and the USA. Exploring the depiction of the black form within portraiture, this exhibition will feature contemporary works made between the year 2000 and today. Those which consider and celebrate figuration as a means of illuminating the richness and complexity of black life. I want to think about the conversation that's taking place right now. Like a lot of these artists know each other, so I wanted to think about the creative conversation that's taking place, but then also the artistic questions that follow from these artists thinking about and depicting the black figure with the kind of complexity and artistic ambition that they do. This exhibition includes the work of some of the world's best-known leading artists, Claudette Johnson, Amy Sherald, Barbara Walker, Kerry James Marshall, Labena Hamid, Hervin Anderson, Henry Taylor and Noah Davis, to name but a few. This is a painting by an artist called Noah Davis. It's based on a photograph that his mother took when she was walking through Chicago in 1975. But let's think about the historical undertow to this work. I don't think you can look at this without thinking about the history in America of segregation. But this combination of innocence and pleasure contrasted then with the understory of how black presence was prescribed, was prohibited, was attempted to be kept outside areas of gathering, areas of pleasure. I think this too is part of the story of this work. This, this painting was Actually, the last work we secured for the exhibition, it's a very recent work by Henry Taylor, who was also close friends with Noah Davis. It's a double portrait. Within this space, this painting looks across at Noah Davis's 1975 and looks back over here. The show also features a new work, As Sounds Turn to Noise, from sculptor Thomas J. Price, created especially for the National Portrait Gallery. Yeah. And its scale is incredible. We see here, obviously, the idea of the everyday and the mundane. It's eight foot tall, bronze with a gleaming gold patina. Like you say, it speaks of everydayness. It also speaks of beauty. It also speaks of a certain nobility. He kind of merges a number of different figures into create idealised version of the everyday. One of Amy Sherald's works, She Was Learning to Love Moments to Love Moments for Themselves, is featured within the show. Engaging with art historical portrait traditions, Amy Sherald challenges and questions notions of race and representation to embed black life into American art. Set against colourful backgrounds, her life-size portraits of subjects with clearly African-American features, but with skin tones painted in shades of grey, shift our focus away from using the sitter's skin colour to signify blackness. This enables them to claim their visibility, which has long been denied. Sherald has been commissioned to paint the official portrait of Michelle Obama when the First Lady of the United States. Using her grayscale and colour technique, the portrait drew record numbers to see it and made Sherald into a household name. The show is curated into three core themes, double consciousness, persistence of history and kinship and connection, guiding viewers through a journey of self-reflection, historical examination and cultural solidarity. It's been a really, really good experience working in the Portrait Gallery. It's a conversation with an institution and my invitation as the curator of the show is not simply to look at these works, mm -hmm. but to really to look in depth with them, to have an opportunity to really think both about the texture and the questions in the work, 